it's on right now. Sure. HeyBroadway.com. Adam Chandler Brad here from Peter and the Starcatcher. And I'm here with Jim Hoden. Jim Hoden. Jim is my lovely dresser. And today we're gonna talk about um, every actor's um, you know, the, the the sort of magic fairy who makes everything happen off stage that no one really gets to see. But I feel That's like true. I feel That's like true. you're the unsung hero of of the show in a lot of ways. And well, off times. In, I, in, in any show. <laughs> exactly. Not just this show. No and, and it's some you know it's something that you guys rarely get to hear about or see. Um, and surely when I was um, sort of making my way into the business I um, I was sort of uh, clueless about Mm -hmm. what it is that you do mm -hmm. and um, and how important your job is to what we do so just could you just sort of explain the like the overview of your job I mean I know that's a vague question but well the, the most important what, the yeah. most important thing is that whoever you're dressing is their happiness because they're the ones that are out there eight times a week busting whatever for the audience and whenever they're not on stage and in their dressing room or any backstage or even when they're running into a wing and back on yeah it's my job to make sure that every step of that show eight times a week they're comfortable and happy uh -huh. and they have everything that they need on stage off stage in the dressing room whatever i can do uh i mean that's, and that can be the above and beyond part of it. Yeah. Because you can do as much or, yeah. or as little for the person you're dressing, depending on, you know, your relationship uh -huh. or just the kind of person you are. A lot of people take the extra step. Uh huh. You know. Uh, but then, as far as the actual, let's say, rules, you take care of the clothes. You uh -huh. make sure all your presets are done correctly. Right. You make sure your quick changes happen like they're supposed to and quick, and you you get out and out of the way so you're not in the way of any kind of traffic or stage hands. Or How many whatnot. quick changes do you have in, in, in this show? Well, and who and you dress how many of the cast members? Well, you About and six, right? Christian and three of the ensemble, well, no, no one's ensemble, excuse me. That's the wrong thing Well, to we say. are all an ensemble. Okay. Well, yes, it's an all ensemble, <laughs> I should say that, but I, don't think I should say you're all stars of the show, is what I should say. Uh, and I just three others besides the two, so five, and basically the musicians. Uh -huh. I don't have too much to do with them, but I kind of watch over I them as well. Yeah. Okay. You're also, on top of the eight shows that you do with us at night, you also do what, what you've said is day work, which is you work at Memphis. And I've heard of this before, too. You work, you, you like, sort of um, tend to the costumes Correct. during the... During, during the day over Correct. at Memphis, you, every, on top every of the work that you right, right. Every do here, show, which is laundry, right. And General take. Like, we don't have day work on this show on Peter, but we do have laundry calls. But we have something called the hour before, where you come in, the hour before the half hour, uh -huh. and you do your setting up, and you do whatever repairs may need to be done. You uh -huh. do everything uh, that you can do. Some people in wardrobe will only do day work like uh -huh. they don't work shows uh -huh. they just do day work this way they work during the day and they still have their nights and you don't have to deal with actors correct you don't have to deal with annoying well, I don't really think that's, needy well you know but there's annoying needy cranky dressers actors as, and there's annoying needy cranky dressers as well so it all depends <laughs> personally for me what works good for me when yeah. there's day work I do go in early yeah even though there's usually a set call I yeah. like to go in early in the day get my day work done, and then I have the rest of my day free before I have to come back for the show later on. Uh -huh. Because I have other things going on yeah. to do and whatnot. And I live close enough where it's convenient enough for me to do that. So, and a person can work on any, they can do day work on a different show every day of the uh -huh. week. You don't have to be just on one show. What's your favorite part of what you do here? The favorite part I want to do, honestly and truly, and people can say it's corny or whatever and expect that it's not truly is the experience because I have been, I feel I've been extremely lucky uh -huh. in the years that I've been doing this. For the people that I've dressed, uh, this is my third time dressing Christian, uh -huh. so we've got, we're friends, uh -huh. it's not just someone I dress. Uh -huh. I feel like we're, we've become uh -huh. friends, even though I haven't known you a lot long, but I've known you from, uh -huh. you know, one of my all-time favorite shows that you were in next to normal, which I told them. 
so it's the experience of dressing certain people mm -hmm. um, and getting to know people and, and establishing friendships and relationships and what have you. And I'd say about 98% of my experience in almost 20 years I've been doing this have been good. Uh -huh. You know, there's wow. always a little bit of bad. Wow. That is a good it, it, know, It's a pretty good. good percentage. You learn over the years to, mm -hmm. to, unless you're absolutely, if you're dressing them, but you learn over the years to be with the people uh -huh. that make you feel good uh -huh. and that you have to be with uh -huh. and you can try to avoid people that and that's maybe also you what's have to. what's interesting is that you you also can you can get hired through actors. I mean actors Correct. can request you request you okay. and, and it doesn't always work out that way, but yeah. usually depending on who the actor is and where they are in the show and I yeah, mean there are some dressers that um, that work strictly with cor one or two or three correct. actors correct. Right, who are just working correct constant whenever they're in New York they uh, use that dresser exactly and I feel that Christian is one yeah. of those people uh -huh. for me and that's only if they go with a new show for example Christian was in Mary Poppins and for a short while I, I would not right. go in to dress him because right. that's an established show and there's address her in that slot right. and rightly so so he should take care of whoever right. comes in for that time right. it would be the same I way see. with me so but it, it's always nice to be asked for and requested uh -huh. if you're let's say you're working on another show and you know someone is going to be doing they say would you mind could you leave and it, it's it's very flattering yeah. it makes me feel good about what I do because yeah. I, I do work hard at what I do yes you do so Jim does things like <laughs> takes my dirty tissues and you take them in your hand. Yeah, but in a in a clean tissue. In another you put clean your dirty tissue. tissue in the clean tissue. I'm not like That's a, a good skill. A walking germ factory. No, you're not. <laughs> and then you and then you also grab me water. Get your water. And I'm, you make sure my mic isn't sticking out of my pants. Oh well, yeah. And you and all just very that's kind of all kind of basic dresser things. Well, it, it might be not. basic, but and then you do really crazy things like buy orchids and well, flowers for my dressing room well, and I'll come in after a day off and, and my dressing room looks like a rainforest. Well, but that's okay. That's something I, that's, that's the really part of thing I enjoy lovely. doing. It's not, that's under the I like to do category. I know and I just, you not, know, uh, you the, I've not, like never had that done for it. me before. Well, and you, it's, deserve, you deserve it. And it's really Every sweet. Every actor deserves it. I just want to take this moment on Broadway.com's time to thank <laughs> you and to let you know how lucky I feel uh -huh. and and how how unbelievably generous you are and how hardworking you are and how you go out of your way to make sure that I'm comfortable and happy and um, to make my show go smoothly and that you do whatever it takes and you, you make me feel like I'm the only person that you dress well. here <laughs> and you dress a lot of well. people. And so I'm, I just, you, gotta, you know, you, gotta, I, you, you really are just your, such a professional right. and you're so generous. You and, gotta move your, well, thank you for saying and that. And I, I feel like, um, you know, you're, you're the unsung hero of, mm -hmm. of our show. Well, our end of, our end of the business works yeah. very hard. I speak yeah. for all dressers. Yeah. We all work very hard and a lot of people are absolutely clueless to what we do and how it happens and how it works. So I appreciate your saying that. Mwah. Thank you. All right. Bye, Broadway.com. Bye.